Hey, what's up, YouTube? Happy 4th of July to everybody. Um, haven't done a video in a while. I've been super busy. Uh, traded in my motorcycle, got a new motorcycle. For those that are interested, I had an uh, Indian Scout before. Traded it in on an Indian Chief Vintage. Been putting some miles on that. I've uh, been working a lot. Um, summertime's on us. Uh, I need to catch up on my videos. So anyway, I'm uh, I'm out in the backyard. I'm uh, grilling some ribs. I was going to put them on the smoker, but uh, my Traeger decided to go tits up today on today of all days. Uh, how, the, how the hell's the timing on that? Um, love my Traeger, but today I'm not real happy with it. Uh, so I'm grilling the beef ribs. I got company coming over. I uh, hope they turn out okay. I'm not used to grilling ribs. I'm used to smoking them. So wish me luck. Uh, in the meantime, thought I'd sit outside. I'd uh, I'd celebrate the fourth by. Uh, Grilling ribs, drinking uh, an English beer, you know, celebrate who we uh, broke away from, and uh, I'm gonna try a new uh, new pipe tobacco. I uh, figured might as well open up a tin. I got all these tins hoarded away, squirreled away. I haven't uh, been smoking a lot of Carter Hall lately, and um, a lot of uh, uh, Country Gentleman, which is a, a vapor, uh, and a lot of luxury bulls I flake. <laughs> so I figured I'd uh, mix it up a little bit, try something different, kind of break out one of these tins that I've got sitting in the closet and see how they are. Now, uh, if y'all been with me since the beginning, you you know that um, I'm usually pretty skeptical of aromatics, uh, but everybody I know that has been talking about uh, a certain aromatic that they think is really good, and so I'm going to give it a shot today. And that aromatic is uh, Colt Blood Red Moon. Um, it's uh, a cherry flavored blend it's probably not going to be my cup of tea i'm going to be honest but who knows might like it um i found out from my mom that my dad who i never knew he died when i was three um when he smoked a pipe he smoked cherry blends so um dad this one this one's gonna go out for you today um maybe i will like it who knows uh first thing i gotta do is get this damn tin open uh, oh i'm gonna open now uh, so, what are y'all doing for 4th of July today? Barbecuing, riding your motorcycle, playing with your dogs, watching fireworks, having a pipe tobacco tin kick your ass. Yeah. Got to break the seal on it, I guess. Probably should open this before I turned on the camera so I didn't look like such an idiot. Also, the pans are covered in rib grease. Alright, I'm going to turn this off for a second so I don't look even stupider. I'll be back when I get this open. Yay, got it open. At least I heard the... Alright. I wonder if this is going to come out as two videos that i got to merge together. Oh, let's see what this looks like. Oh, it actually smells pretty good. Who knows, this might, uh, I mean, there's a few aromatics I've had that I didn't think were too bad. Uh, a buddy of mine from New York sent me one called Timmy's Blend that he likes to smoke. Uh, it's from uh, Ridgewood Tobacco, I think, uh, in New Jersey. And um, it's like a honey, it's cased with like honey or something, honey and red wine. I remember right um, and it was it was not too bad not really my cup of tea but um, didn't really have a problem with it and then let's see the other aromatic I had that I liked was um, Parsons blend from uh, they do a they do a podcast hmm I'll remember it later on I'm sure but Parsons blend just Google Parsons blend you'll find it um, uh, the guys that run that uh, shop are in Mississippi, I think. That's that's pretty good. Now, it is an aromatic, but that one I like a lot. So let's see. Let's see what this looks like. So I'll share it here a little bit. Oh, there. there we go. It's a ribbon cut. Looks like it's got some black Cavendish in it. The cherry smell is there, but it's not um, not super heavy. And I'm gonna smoke it in my little uh, my little poker today. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, it's a beautiful day here in California. A little bit windy. The dogs are outside enjoying the sun. Girls going. Yeah, 
it's at about 250. Yeah, it got too hot a little earlier. It was hoping it didn't dry my ribs out. I just got done foiling them. They've been on there uh, a little over an hour. And then I foiled them and put a little Newcastle brown ale in the in the foil when I closed them up. I'll leave them in there like that for about an hour. And then I'll um, take them back out of the foil and turn the grill back on direct heat and start saucing them and grilling them and caramelizing that sauce. Wish me luck. Like I said, I'm used to doing it on the smoker, so I'm not real super confident doing it on the grill. My wife's like, ah, they'll be fine, they'll be fine. I'm like, you don't understand, I got people coming over. I'm trying something new with people coming over. You're not supposed to do that. And well, it's a little more skilled than I am in the culinary arts department, except when it comes to grilling and smoking. So uh, that makes her a little more confident than me, I guess, about trying new stuff when company's coming over. All right, where's my real super windies? I got the Zippo today. Light done. Where's my dogs go to? All up and back eating figs. I got a little skinny gray chihuahua and I got a little fat black chihuahua. And it's really funny because I've had the, the little fat black chihuahua since he was a puppy and he's never known a day of hunger in his entire life. And he weighs about 11 pounds. He's, he's junky. Um, and I got a fig tree out back and he's discovered that the figs fall off the fig tree and they're pretty damn good. And so he's up there grubbing on them figs all the time if I'm not paying attention to him. And then we, oh, so we also got two apricot trees. And when the apricots were coming in, I, uh, me and the neighbor boy picked all the ones that uh, came in this year. We didn't get a real good crop. But um, of course, Buddy was out there, you know, eating, hoovering them up off the ground. and. Then he'd eat the pits, and then he'd crap out the pits, and I'm like worried he's going to get a intestinal blockage or something. I'm going to get a thousand dollar vet bill. The dog acts like I never feed him, and yet he weighs eleven pounds. Big ass Chihuahua. Anyway, so I hope y'all are having a good fourth. My fourth kind of started out kind of rough. I uh, didn't sleep real good last night, woke up with a headache, my wife slept in, I let her sleep in, you know, sometimes I wake up grumpy, sometimes I let her sleep in, she hates that, um, anyway, <laughs> uh, let her sleep in, because she doesn't always sleep real good, and she, she needs a rest, and she doesn't, um, she doesn't get it very often, so I kind of, kind of guard her sleep for her, but, uh, got up early in the morning, started getting the ribs ready, and really pissed me off because I knew my Traeger was on on the fritz and so I took it apart yesterday so shit I've been talking away and hadn't been recording um tell you what happened it's while I was talking you'll see this gap where I was talking about my Traeger and all of a sudden you'll see burp, and then it shifts over to this some somebody called me and I'm on my iPad and somebody called me and uh, I looked like it was a number from some probably some fucking headhunter calling me on the 4th of July, uh, pissing me off. Anyway, I just forwarded the call, uh, came back to the camera and thought it was, thought it was recording shit. I've been telling you all the secrets of the whole world. Um, and none of it, none of it came out anyway. So I'm going to try to pick up where I left off. So what was I talking about? I was talking about my Traeger. I was talking about how, uh, um, I'm going to sleep real good and Got up, got up early, and I was guarding my wife's sleep and all this other, all this other nonsense. Um, so anyway, I spent a good part of yesterday taking apart my Traeger, and my Traeger wasn't working, wouldn't, wouldn't start up. Now I've had it for about five years, and I put a lot of, a lot of stuff to that Traeger. Um, love it. Probably sold more than my fair share of Traegers to, to friends and and family and complete strangers and all sorts of shit. I should get a commission from Traeger, but anyway. Uh, Took it apart, got it working, put it all back together, started up. Okay, cool, this is fine, great. I got it this morning. I'm getting the ribs ready. 
get them all, you know, mustard it up and got the, the rub on them and let them come up to room temperature and all this other shit. And when I got there and I started the Traeger and I come back in and finish prepping the ribs and I go back out. The Traeger's sitting at 400 degrees. I'm like, holy shit, I can't smoke, I can't smoke ribs at 400 degrees. What the hell? So, I'm, and I'm, I can set it 180, right? I go and I'm like trying to figure it out and I just cannot get it to, to cool down. So I can tear it apart again and thinking, you know, maybe it's got some sawdust in the auger and that sawdust is burning real hot or something like that. So I clean all that out and vacuum it all out, completely cool it off, fire it back up, boom, 380 degrees. I'm like, son of a bitch. And I got people coming over today. They're expecting my barbecue. You know, I got a little bit of a good reputation for, you know, knowing how to do barbecue. And so well, what the hell am I going to do? Plus, I'm doing beef ribs, which I never do beef ribs. I always do pork ribs. But, you know, I, my uh, my company coming over, they're, they're beef eaters. They love beef. So I kind of promised them beef ribs. And so here I'm doing, you know, a new meat for me. Plus, I ain't got my Traeger. Uh, what the hell am I going to do? So I, I'm putting them, on the, put them on the grill and, you know, put them on indirect heat and let them go for a while. I just, um, I just foiled them up a little while ago, just before I started this, and put some Newcastle on on in the foil there, so I can, it'll braise them and soften them up just a little bit. They were on there for about a about an hour and a half, hour hour and a half, at 250. Well, actually, they were probably closer to about 300 because that grill is hard to hold temperature down on it. Um, I'll leave them in there in the foil for about another 45 minutes or so, and then I'll take them out and then I'll sauce them up and finish them off. Wish me luck. See how it goes. So let's see. Told you about my fat Chihuahua. Told you about my uh, my Traeger. I uh, told you about getting a new motorcycle. And I haven't told you about is this tobacco, I guess. So when it was not recording, I was telling you that I wasn't too impressed with this. You know, I wouldn't get much flavor out of it. But all of a sudden, now I'm starting to get I'm getting some good flavor out of it. Now I don't know if this will make me into an aromatic guy, but this is not too bad. It's not too bad at all. I don't really know if I get cherry or not. I definitely get a little sweet something or other, but I wouldn't I wouldn't pick cherry out of it. But hey, here's what it is, right? Definitely a change of pace from the Carter Hall and the luxury bullseye flake and stuff that I've been smoking. So anyway, something else I was talking about that y'all missed my uh, my wisdom. Was I was talking about be careful about what you smoke around other people. You know, this this will go over pretty well when everybody's over here and I'm smoking this, you know, around other people because it actually smells pretty good. Um, kind of hard to, when when you're smoking a pipe, it's kind of hard for you to really know what it smells like because you're you're experiencing it in a different way. Um, but, you know, they call it room note. Um, but, you know, pay attention to that. Because if you like, if you like Latakia or you like, you know, some of the Mother Tire Fire blends, no, no judgment there. <laughs> um, there are more power to you. You smoke what you like, but um, everybody around you may not may not appreciate it. They may not be real happy with it. So um, save those for when you're by yourself, or when you're around people that you know aren't going to be offended by it, and you know other people that appreciate it. Don't give us all a bad name. Um, then when you're around other people, try to find a compromise blend. Find something that you like the taste of, and that they can they can stand the smell of. And see how that goes. Well, anyway, I know y'all haven't seen it, but I've been talking for about 30 minutes straight, and probably about 15 of it is what actually went on the video in between the. Yeah, it's, today has just not been my day, let me tell you. You know, I, it throws me off when I get up in the morning and shit's just not working like I want. And yeah, I'm just, yeah, my wife's about fit to be tied with me right now. She's probably happy I'm out back smoking and smoking and smoking. Um, uh, liable to wake up buried under the orange tree someday. If you know, if my videos just completely stop, you know, not a big gap in between them. You know, give it about six months. If you don't see a video from me in six months, you send the cops out to my house and have them dig uh, dig up underneath my my orange tree. Because uh, my wife has promised me she'll never divorce me, but they may never find my body. And you know what? I kind of believe her. I love the woman, but a little bit a little bit scared of her. I ain't afraid to admit it. All you married men out there, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? So anyway, uh, let's see, I've talked about my fat chihuahua, i talked about my, uh, my tobacco this time, I've talked about my Traeger, I've talked about the ribs, I've talked about my motorcycle. I guess all, all there is left to say is uh, have a happy 4th, 
Uh, I'm really uh, sorry it took so long uh, in between my last couple videos. Um, I'm going to try and get uh, back to a, a decent cadence. And I'm going to you know, I don't know what y'all want to see. You know, I, I started this out just as a, as a lark to, you know, share a little bit of the initial initial experiences. Um, I've got a little bit of feedback from y'all. I mean, I've got, you know, some subscribers that I'm really grateful for. I don't, I don't know why, that, why that, how in the hell you guys found me or, you know, why you think I'm worth listening to, but I sure do appreciate it. Um, but I kind of like this, make this a little more interactive. If you got something you'd like to know, um, yeah. Put right down there in the comments, right underneath there, and let me know. Um, uh, something you want me to try, you know, an opinion, you know, share your opinions with me. Tell me, Gary, I wish you'd stop talking about Latakia like a tire fire because, you know, I kind of like it. Well, you know what? Give me a good Latakia blend to try, and I'll try it. Uh, tell me what you like. Or if you're curious about something, I got a whole tub of tinned up tobaccos in there that, you know, I kind of went on a buying binge when I first started smoking a pipe. Uh, that I haven't even opened yet. Um, I got Escudo and Elizabethan Blend and all sorts of other stuff. Um, but then I found a couple of standbys that I really liked and I ended up just kind of sticking with them. So I'm perfectly willing to try new stuff. Um, let me know what you want. Let me know what you want to hear. Let me know what you want to see. And tell me a little bit about your fourth. Tell me what you did on your on your fourth. Uh, hopefully you're spending it with family uh, and you're not spending it watching me. Well, you probably won't be because I probably won't get this uploaded until later tonight. But you know what I mean. Um, well, thanks, y'all. Uh, tell me what you're smoking. Tell me how your fourth went. Uh, have a great day. Stay safe. Don't blow any limbs off. Uh, if you do blow any limbs off, you know, try to make sure it's not important ones. And I'll talk to you later. Have a great one, YouTube. Take care.